Hi, aloha everyone and welcome to the show. It's Lillian's Vegan World where we explore everything veganism from the lifestyle to the food, how you can get into it, the benefits, what's available as far as plant-based foods. So we're going to cover lots of stuff in the show and today I'm so excited to introduce my friend, my dear friend, who is also on a plant-based diet. Uh, Yuko Miura, all the way from Japan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Yuko, you're living here in Hawaii, I believe. Yes, yes. I do. I've been here for a little over 15 years. Wow. Time right. Yes, and that's yes. why your English is so great. Oh, thank you yes. so much. <laughs> Welcome thank to the show, Yuko. I'm excited so to much. talk to you about your vegan journey. Oh, thank um, you so and much. And yeah, I think uh, it'll be nice for viewers to, to listen to why or how someone gets into veganism. So I myself have been vegan for 10 years, vegetarian mm -hmm. prior to that. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm excited to um, yeah, talk to you. Yes. How, how long have you been vegan for? Well, I've been vegan for a little over three years and uh -huh. it's been such a journey. Um, I've never felt better physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. I have no regret whatsoever. Well, actually, I have one regret. Only regret that I have mm -hmm. is that I should have gone vegan sooner. But I'm so grateful <laughs> for being vegan today. Yes, it's you know, a joy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. that, that is actually something that um, I myself also think the only regret I have is that I didn't do it sooner. Mm -hmm. So you look fantastic. I mean, you look Thank healthy, you. honestly. Um, you don't look like you're lacking in any <laughs> nutrients or vitamins. No, so. I don't have a protein deficiency. No, well, that, that's, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you get that question a lot? Mm -hmm. Where do you yes. get your protein it's, from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yuko, I have mm -hmm. to ask, why did mm -hmm. you decide to be, become vegan? You became vegan after you arrived in, in Hawaii. Correct. Okay. Well, what happened was I was enjoying social network on the internet a little over three years ago and I happened to encounter the famous video made by Gary Yorofsky who is a famous vegan animal rights activist. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of facts and the truth about animal agriculture and I was so shocked to learn them okay. because how we treat animals is just so terrible and cruel, it's beyond my worst imagination. So um, I instantly was able to make the connection between what I was eating and living beings. So uh -huh. um, to me, it was absolutely wrong to kill someone who doesn't want to die for food, especially when I know I don't have to. I learned about health benefits. I don't have to eat animals to survive and thrive. That's a very important point too. Yes, it is. Um, mm -hmm. that, that's, a, that's a great phrase and one that I like to use often too. Um, not only mm -hmm. can you survive mm -hmm. on the vegan diet, you mm -hmm. really can thrive. Correct. Um, <laughs> so that's interesting. You mm -hmm. were inspired by this uh, animal activist and vegan, mm -hmm. yeah, very um, famous vegan activist. So yes. interesting. And so may I ask, what was the hardest thing about transitioning? So you weren't vegetarian no, or you were I eating... used to eat meat, dairy, uh -huh. egg, okay. just like so other you ate, people. Yeah, just like other people do. Mm -hmm. So how did you start your okay. transitioning into becoming fully vegan? I'm sure it must have been a hard, a hard well, road or was it? Actually, it wasn't a struggle for me. I mm -hmm. admit I was lucky because I didn't struggle. As I said, I instantly made a connection. So, But of course, I did my research on my own. And again, as you said, I learned a lot about other facts, like how our food choices impact on environment and other people, hunger problems caused by animal agriculture, and then health benefits, so why not? So it was an easy transition for me. It, it, it's not a sacrifice for me, it's a joy. 
I'm not saying everybody is going to going through the same path. Some people may struggle, but the good news is that there are so many substitutes available today. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, there are. Mm-hmm. So are you saying, do you call that you don't eat boring salads every day and live on no. celery sticks and calories? Uh, <laughs> Carrot sticks? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I eat anything I like, just in a vegan version. Yes, I'm not just eating salad. Awesome. Well, um, you did uh, prepare mm-hmm. some photos of us because mm-hmm. Yuko actually on her social media has uh, posts a lot of the, a lot <laughs> yes. of her pictures about the food that you cook, and they look amazing. Thank I you. I think uh, anyone would be able to enjoy the type of food that you're cooking. So. Let's have a look at the first photo, which is mm-hmm. the daikon steak. Yes. Duke, oh, that looks amazing. Thank now, daikon you. steak is something that you don't see on menus here, mm-hmm. but I would definitely order something like that if it were on a menu. Yes, it's delicious. Everybody will love it. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay. You know, daikon radis, yes. daikon radis, a big one. And then I just cut it in a slice like that. And then I just sauteed it. I fried it with garlic, olive oil, and then I put lots of love in it. (laughs) Yes. That looks amazing. It's delicious. And not to mention healthy Mm -hmm. at the same time. You've got some brown rice there, Mm -hmm. I see, and veggies. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you cook often? Yes, Mm -hmm. I do. Beautiful. Thank you. And there's another photo that you uh, sent in for us, Yuko, which is the meatless Pasta. Yes, meatless you know, spaghetti. Yes, yes, everybody loves spaghetti meat yes. sauce, right? Yes. This is exactly like that, but the only difference is meatless. I use uh, lentil beans. It tastes uh-huh. like meat and it's satisfy- satisfying, it looks appetizing and it is delicious. And tastes great, yes. yes. I, I must admit that looks that looks so much like the real thing. Like <laughs> I'm even wondering if people would know yeah, whether I you know if you didn't tell them that it wasn't meatless, whether mm-hmm. they would catch on because lentils these mm-hmm. days um, really can take on the taste and texture of meat exactly. very yeah, very easily. So what a great um, what a great way to substitute and <laughs> eat you. you know make it look a bit more like meat so mm-hmm. appealing to people who mm-hmm. are trying to eat more vegan food but mm-hmm. really you know miss things like right. spaghettis That's and right. you know, steaks and stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Nicole. Thank so you. how has how has uh, mm-hmm. becoming vegan benefited your lifestyle or your health? Um, you mm-hmm. you have now been plant based for three years. Yes, you said? three okay. years. It, it's, and you're feeling good. I feel so good. <laughs> I feel so good. Um, Great. Yeah, it it benefits me a lot for the better. It's a lot of changes I've been experiencing. I have a lot, but um, the most important thing is that I feel good about myself. I feel. For all the living beings with compassion that I didn't recognize before, um, I can recognize in my heart love and compassion for all living beings, not just only human beings, mm-hmm. not just like dogs and cats, but all living beings. Uh-huh. That's the biggest thing. Yes, change. I think you brought up um, something interesting, and and that is that. I think a lot of vegans, like mm-hmm. like you and I, we do we question a lot of things, mm-hmm. as do non-vegans. You know, question us. So this is a nice learning process for mm-hmm. everyone, I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, I must admit that I I do often ask the question, why are dogs and cats treated differently to right. other animals? It's mm-hmm. something that um, that is just it's out, it happens. You know, mm-hmm. people people do look at. A certain animal or certain mm-hmm. animals in different different ways. So right. it's interesting because you and I are like, well, why? <laughs> That's <laughs> so, right. So yeah, That's you're learning. Right. You know, we're learning about each other. Non vegans are learning about mm-hmm. us and how we think, and um, it's all a it's all a learning process. But yes, yeah, exactly. I agree. It's a, I think one of the main things about you know vegans is that they mm-hmm. do have a lot of compassion for mm-hmm. all living beings, not yes. only. You know, not only the, mm-hmm. the animals that we see as pets in homes yes. and stuff. So that's interesting. Exactly. <laughs> I 
I started enjoying cooking. Yes. yes. I'm more conscious about my own health. Yes. It's a big difference. I want to live long, healthy. Yes, sure. Yes. And that, this is a great way. I mean, um, the plant-based diet mm -hmm. is, well, researchers and studies are, are mm -hmm. showing that it is the healthiest yes. diet on the planet. So yes. come on, guys, get your, get your plant <laughs> food in. <laughs> yes. It's easy and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And one thing I've noticed is that all the, the vegans that I have mm -hmm. met are actually mm -hmm. great cooks. Exactly. So, yeah, I think they come hand in hand. You mm -hmm. um, you get you start to become more interested in food, more mm -hmm. creative, and I I think um, as far as the way I cook, I become I became more health conscious about yes. what I was cooking. So yes. all these things are you know add up to a mm -hmm. a really good you know a good way to eat. It's mm -hmm. a win win situation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So do you cook? What kind of advice would you mm -hmm. give someone who is thinking about transitioning mm -hmm. or thinking about, you know, starting a plant-based diet or mm -hmm. going into veganism? Okay. Well, first thing I would suggest is to be open-minded. Uh -huh. And then I would suggest um, challenge22.com. It's a really good website. Of course, it's free. It's very informative. Lots of recipes, lots of... Uh, things you get to learn. So just go Google, find Challenge 22. That's a really good website. And then um, try to make a connection between what's on your plate and living animals. That really helps. And then um, just always remember it's win win, as you just said. It's win win. You lose nothing, you gain everything. Mm -hmm. It's good for the environment, it's good for the animals, it's good for the hunger problems of people, and good for your own health. So you lose nothing. Yes. And it's, a, it's a joy. Yes, I totally yes. agree. So, Yuko, what kind of. Um Substitutes do you mm -hmm. use, like when you're cooking, or mm -hmm. you know, when in your daily eating mm -hmm. habits, do you eat vegan cheeses? Uh, I use a uh, cashew and almond, lots of nuts. Cashew nuts, raw cashew nuts, is a wonderful substitute to when... make vegan cheeses. Yes, uh -huh. and then also tofu. Yes, I make tofu mayonnaise. It's Delicious. Sounds delicious. Yes, yes, I eat lots of lots of different kind mm -hmm. of beans yeah. too. Okay, so yes. they're great substitutes. Later mm -hmm. on in the second half of the show, we're going to talk about the vegan cheeses that are available because there mm -hmm. are so many. Um, as you know, I've just moved to Hawaii only mm -hmm. four months ago, yes. and I'm just getting used to all the delicious vegan things yes. in supermarkets. Yes. I I go crazy. I'm just enjoying Me all this too. food tasting. So. There are, yes, if I were giving advice to someone who mm -hmm. was interested in, you know, mm -hmm. becoming plant-based, yes. the first thing that I want to say is you don't have to give up anything. Mm -hmm. You can add things mm -hmm. to your diet. And again, then mm -hmm. I think slowly you're going to start to, to realize that maybe these vegan cheeses, for mm -hmm. example, are so delicious you mm -hmm. might not, you know, uh, require or mm -hmm. want the real thing. So there's That's a lot of right. lot of substitutes here mm -hmm. and a lot of vegan options exactly. in Hawaii. <laughs> exactly. And one one more thing. You don't have to become vegan overnight. That's a little yes. bit unrealistic. It you is. can start with meat free Monday or meat free Tuesday or um just That's one right, meal. Vehicle. You just and go. yes, on that on that mm -hmm. note we'll come back and talk more about vegan cheeses. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned guys, We're taking a mm -hmm. quick break. Aloha, this is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at three, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world, and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in, and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there, and we have an awesome a studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to come away inspired. 
like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show and is streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunisue. Mahalo. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World, where we explore the wonderful, fascinating world of veganism and the plant-based diet. Um, you call yes. my guest today, the um, Club Lounge Ambassador at yes. Prince Hotel. Thank you so much for joining us. You are welcome. It's really interesting talking to you about your vegan journey. And uh, just before the break, we started talking about vegan cheeses. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show the viewers one of my recipes for a creamy vegan cheese sauce. Check it out. You call, this is my recipe for vegan cheese sauce made from cashews. Wow. And it looks, it also, yes. Delicious. This is packed with uh, nutritional yeast too, mm -hmm. which is a, has yes. a lot of B vitamins, yes, vitamin B12 in particular. Mm -hmm. So anyone on a vegan diet needs to be careful and make sure that they get right. a B12 supplement or vitamin. So this um, is included in one of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. You also make your cheeses yes, from cashews? Yes, similar, very yes. similar. And, and I put lots of new traditional yes, yeast too. Exactly, and this takes only five minutes. Mm -hmm. Pour it over some nachos. I mean, oh, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Yum. Beautiful. <laughs> That's there. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. one way you can use the cheese sauce. And you can mm -hmm. also just use it as a cheese fondue. Oh. Um, get a nice, you know, French stick, a French baguette or mm -hmm. some fresh bread. Mac and cheese, I pizza. Know. This, cho this uh, sauce you can use in so, mm -hmm. so many ways. It's so easy to make. Gratin. Oh. <laughs> You make me Nocky. hungry. I know. And the thing is, it's so easy to make. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is definitely a versatile cheese. Yes. I also use the cheese and incorporate it into mm -hmm. other recipes. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, this is a mushroom soup, cream of mushroom soup. Wow. <laughs> now, do you call this is what we talk? This is what we call um, comfort food. Exactly. Vegan comfort food. Exactly. A nice big bowl of um, yes, cream wow. of mushroom soup. So Actually, really a lot of ingredients that. People eat are already vegan, such as potatoes yes. and mushrooms. Yes. French fries are vegan. <laughs> exactly. That, that's a good point that you bring up mm -hmm. there. People are actually eating vegan food and don't really realize that mm -hmm. it's vegan. Mm -hmm. But one thing we do have to be careful of is the um, soups when we eat out in restaurants because often they're not vegan. Mm -hmm. So, wow. <laughs> That's, Amazing. Yeah, that's the, the recipe for the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get you to try it here. Yes. I've prepared some for you, dear okay. This is the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Have a try. Nice yeah. and creamy and silky. <laughs> Does mm. it taste like cheese? Be honest. This is delicious. <laughs> oh my God. And this took, is not enough. <laughs> I know. And it took five minutes to make. Um, wow. You soak the, the cashew, the raw cashew nuts overnight mm -hmm. or four to six hours. Mm -hmm. And then literally it takes five minutes to wow. make. So that cheese sauce has now become this beautiful. I made a little pie for you. Wow. <laughs> thank you. So this has a little, the base is a pie crust. And then I've mm -hmm. used the. Yeah the cheese sauce and mixed it with some rice wow. and then just baked it in the oven so yeah, yeah. So just grab it That's just grab so... it it's finger food <laughs> so a nice little cheesy rice mm -hmm. um, pie mm -hmm. which is great vegan party food compote food so <laughs> delicious thank you thank you, thank you. 
Wow. Available at Lillian's home anytime mm-hmm. you are okay. within the vicinity. I will visit you every day. <laughs> <laughs> and let's have a look at some of the mm-hmm. cheeses available, do you call? Mm-hmm. There's a Parmesan cheese. Mm-hmm. Check this out. I mean, vegan Parmesan. It's uh, sold at Whole Foods for about $6.99. Mm-hmm. Free from dairy, soy, gluten, lactose, nuts and preservatives. Non-GMO wow. verified, uh, made with coconut oil, mm-hmm. B12. One ounce is about 80 calories compared to 120 calories of the dairy mm-hmm. version of Parmesan cheese. So this is this is awesome, 100% vegan. Wow. I'm going to get you to try this now, do you call? Yes. Have a try and let me know what you think. Okay. That one, yes. Mm-hmm. This one I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting it to taste so much like Parmesan, but I, I must admit, I think it's fantastic. It is fantastic. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. I, it tastes exactly like Parmesan. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And this is... um. The good thing about this uh, vegan parmesan is it actually can grate as well. So really? you can grate it over wow. your salads, your mm-hmm. you know pastas and stuff. So mm-hmm. a great one to have from Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. The other one that we're going to look at next is the tomato cayenne chow, chow slices. Uh-huh. This, the chow has a variety of flavours. I think they have three, two or three flavours that are available at Down to Earth. And this pack of 10 slices is uh, five, five ninety nine, about mm-hmm. $6. Mm-hmm. Again, dairy-free, soy-free, made from coconut cream and oil. This also is uh, based on a pea protein. Um, and, yeah, pea protein often used in vegan products. One ounce is about 80, cal- 80 calories, only 7 grams of carbs. Mm-hmm. So very good. Have a try of this one, Dukal. Okay, Just I there. Will. This comes in slices, which is great. So you can make sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm mm. this on some pumpernickel bread with with some um, wow. chili jam mm-hmm. is one of my favorite ways to enjoy it. It's delicious. What do you think? I can tell it it goes with well with sandwiches. Yes, oh, great a great I'm sandwich. I'm gonna buy cheese. it. Yes. So this is at um, Down to Earth. They mm-hmm. carry a. A large that range. Spiciness yes, the same. That, that has some um, spicy peppers in it, so mm-hmm. a little bit of bite, which, which is nice, kind yes. of, you know, stimulates the palate a right. little bit. And let's have a look at the next one, which is the, yes, dire medium cheddar. Also dairy free, all of these dairy free, soy free, non GMO, non, it, it's just so, so wonderful that these products are out there. This one is the same one ounce, about 28. Uh, mm-hmm. grams this this is also a great one for sandwiches you mm-hmm. I know that you like your sandwiches too yeah. so you might enjoy this one have a try yeah, this one this goes great you know with crackers and stuff great for parties because mm-hmm. who doesn't like cheese and crackers mm-hmm. you know no. olives <laughs> pickled onions mm-hmm. you can also add some of the vegan uh, meat like mm-hmm. some ham slices wow, what did you think I of that agree. one it's delicious how would you eat that Ah, I would eat it with crackers. Yes, yes. yes. they're really good with crackers. Yes. So mm-hmm. nice little cheese platter going on here. Mm-hmm. Would you be satisfied if you had that at of like course. a picnic or a? I would be more than satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So you know, all these cheeses are available in Honolulu too. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look at one more, which is the last one, and that mm-hmm. is the Monterey Jack style. Mm-hmm. This one has a lot of bite to it. It's a it's almost like a mix between the parmesan and mm-hmm. the cheddar, I found. Um, this, I prefer, I love it on its own, like to eat it just as it is, but it's, it actually works great melted too. Mm-hmm. Melted toasted sandwiches wow. or, you know, incorporated yeah. into some uh, baked mm-hmm. dishes. Mm-hmm. So this is, a, this is also available at Down to Earth mm-hmm. uh, for $5.99. You wow. can get all of these on sale sometimes. So That's right. do look out when they're on sale. You know, it's a great time to do some That's tasting. Right. And on that note, okay. have a taste. Actually, this one was the Parmesan. I think I made Ooh, a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Parmesan. Mm. Did, is that the one that you tried? Before? This is the Parmesan. Yes. And so then... this is the Jack. Then. Mm-hmm. This 
this is a good one for melting. I, mm -hmm. I do. I would use it um, pasta. What do you? Yes, yes. maybe like shredded or mm -hmm. grated, grated into some pasta. Yes. That's such a great idea. You could even do like a, a basil sauce, mm -hmm. you know, something yes, gratin. herby or mm -hmm. gratin, yeah. So all these beautiful cheeses. Yes. So the title of today's show was okay. Look Out Dairy. There's a new cheese in town. Yes. <laughs> and it's called exactly. Healthy, Delicious and Vegan. Mm -hmm. So I, get, I, uh, I hope that some of the viewers um, take this take this opportunity to go and try some of the, yes, the beautiful cheeses said, out there. Yes, be open-minded. You'd be surprised how delicious yeah. they are yeah. and how satisfying yes. they are. Yes, yeah, definitely. And you can, again, you can also make your own cheeses. Mm -hmm. I think there are so many recipes online mm -hmm. these days. You can make cheese from cashews, macadamia, yes. almond, soy, yes. and the cheeses are packed with B12 because exactly. we use um, an ingredient called nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. which has, you know, a really good, good source of um, the B12 vitamin, mm -hmm. which is something that vegans can't get, that we, we do need Correct. to supplement and take a vitamin. Mm -hmm. Do you do you take a B12 uh, Not vitamin? supplement, but I use a lot of nutritional yeast yes, in my cooking. Yeah. So. Nutritional yeast is, yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a little uh, vegan parmesan cheese mm -hmm. substitute. Yes. Well, it's been so wonderful talking to you, oh, Duco. I really appreciate you coming in and giving us your insight and telling us mm -hmm. about your journey. Oh, thank and you so much for having me. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. And everyone else, I look forward to seeing you next week, uh, same time, same place. If you have any questions, Write them down on a nice big bag of salt and vinegar flavoured <laughs> vegan chips and send them to Think Tech Hawaii. See you next week, guys. <laughs> Bye. Aloha. Bye.